So you're ready to set goals for the new year and you're trying to figure out which areas of your life you should choose from? Have no fear. I have 10 suggested areas for you to focus on to make sure that you are living your absolute best life. So stay tuned. First, let me start off by saying Happy New Year and welcome to Style Butterfly. If this is your first time visiting, thank you for checking me out. Um, I wanted to just kind of take a moment to kind of share my goals for the new year and kind of the process that I've been going through. I kind of started pre-gaming, if you will, what I wanted to do when, I, when the new year began in December. So I've been reading books and listening to tapes and just kind of getting an idea of what I want to do. Because I definitely know what I didn't want to do, and that was repeat the same things that I did in 2018. So I started off by creating what I am calling my success journal. And in here, I wrote down my goals that I want to accomplish this year. And this is where I'm also going to kind of document throughout the year steps that I'm taking, use it a little bit as a journal, and kind of just really focus my intention on the things that I want. So the first goal that I want to share is you should have what I would consider a spiritual goal. And a spiritual goal would be something that feeds your soul. So what I did, I share right here really quick. I have my book and I kind of did like a brain dump. And I kind of wrote down all the things as far as like a spiritual goal, like things that would feed my soul. And then for each one of the 10 goals that I'm going to share, I chose one thing that I want to focus on. And in this particular case, I focused on becoming a yogi even though I don't practice yoga yet. But I've done it on and off here and there throughout the years, and it's something that I really feel connected with, the breathing, the exercises. It's like something I definitely want to take serious this year. So I have a goal of becoming a certified yogi. So think about, again, brain dump, write everything that you think that could possibly feed your soul, and then pick one. So that's the first goal that I would recommend. Second goal that I would recommend is your personal development goal. And this is kind of what, what are you going to do to grow yourself? So again, go through brain dump. All things that you would kind of think about that's going to help you grow yourself this year. And I have decided that I need to step out of my comfort zone. So that is what I am going to focus on. And as I go through reaching that goal, I'll kind of make some daily put some daily actions into place to kind of help and as we go through the year I'll kind of talk about the steps that I'm taking in order to reach these goals. The next goal that I talked about is a health goal so I would recommend what would be your kind of like how would you take care of your instrument your body what is something that you need to focus on so go through that again brain dump write down everything and then pick one thing that you feel like would really make sure that you're reaching that particular goal this year. Because I really think it's important to focus. You gotta focus your intention so you know exactly what you want. So there's no like misconception of like, oh, well maybe, like no, this is what I'm working toward, this is what I'm gonna do. So this year I became very intentional and specific about the goals that I wanna accomplish. Then I also have romance goals. I have family goals and again, how would you improve relationships as far as like rom romance or relation rom partner relationships as well as family relationships then i have a business goal and then a career goal because right now my career is a teacher but i have this desire to be an entrepreneur so i set a goal in regards to how would i go about starting a business and then also with my career what I would do in order to move that forward. So how in each area are you going to move forward to grow? The next thing I talked about is a financial goal. And I would definitely recommend having like a specific amount. So I wrote down that I want to have an additional $10,000 a year coming in monthly. Don't ask me how that's going to happen. Remember, I just told you I'm a teacher. But I believe that once I have now focused my intention on that, I can again make sure that I'm creating action steps to help me reach that goal throughout the school year. And again, I will talk more about that in upcoming videos as to the steps that I'm taking in order to reach these particular goals. The next goal I would recommend are some fun and recreational goals. 
what are some things you want to do for fun, some hobbies. So one of the things that I want to do this year, I want to travel around the world at least four times. I have a couple of places in mind, but I definitely want to travel at least four times this year, just because it's something that I love to do. And then lastly, I would recommend having some social goals. What, what changes do you want to make in your social life? And think about how those these goals will help you then move forward in order to make sure that you're living your ideal life. I recommend, I know 10 goals is kind of ambitious. I chose 10 goals because I feel like it's important to have a balance. Some of these goals could be lumped together, like business and career could be, maybe relationships could be lumped in together. But I chose to be very, again, very specific about the things that I want in each area of my life so that as the year progresses, I can make sure that I'm doing intentional or creating, excuse me, an intentional action steps to make sure that I'm reaching those goals. So I would love to know what your goals are for the new year. Um, hashtag whatever your goal is, whether it's hashtag romance goal, hashtag personal growth goal, hashtag spiritual goal. And please let me know because again, I want to create a space where we can kind of support each other along those along the way and kind of give each other tips and tricks in order to make sure that we're reaching those goals. And then once you do your brain dump, once you get very specific about the one goal that you're doing, the next thing I did, I wrote down why. Why is each goal important to me? So I wrote down why. Why is it important? Because again, I need to make sure the universe understands and I understand why this particular goal is important. I want to get very clear about what I want. I don't want it to kind of be random and no, not this year. I'm getting clear, I'm getting specific, so I know what I want to do. So again, I hope this helps. A little recap of the top 10 goals that you can create for yourself. One, you can have your, I'm going back in my book to remind myself, a spiritual goal, personal development goal, a health goal, a romance goal, family goal, business and career goal, a financial goal, fun and recreation goal, and then a social goal. So again, I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what goals that you have created for this year. And again, continuing to create a community where we all can support each other on this road of success. All right, thank you for watching. Take care.